Early spring in Tasmania means big, fluffy-looking bumblebees, and lots of them. Their queens are so big, there's room for them to carry radio transmitters on their backs. We just grab them with a tube, put them into the freezer to chill them, and then we're putting on a new generation of radio transmitters onto the back of the bees. Bumblebees are native to the northern hemisphere and used to being frozen, but they're not used to wearing backpacks. Now she's ready to go. They might spend about five minutes rubbing the back of their, their back trying to get the transmitter off, but we've actually been surprised how quickly they switch back to foraging and they completely forget about it. Researchers can now track where they're setting up nests and how they interact with native species. They've been here for 30 years, but we've really lost track of what they're doing and how far they're spreading. Early studies indicate bumblebees are reproducing six times faster here than in Europe and North America. And while they might be great for the garden and farmers, this study will help assess other impacts. And many of our native birds in Tasmania feed on nectar from trees like eucalypts, such as um, the critically endangered swift parrot. Um, also, bumblebees will feed on that nectar as well. As these bumblebees fly around with their backpacks, they're helping us to learn more about their behaviour. This technology could also be used on other species in the future. Hopefully as the technology uh, gets better, we'll have even smaller versions of these transmitters that will allow us to track smaller insects again. It's a small weight for a few bumblebees to carry, but it could be a big advance in insect monitoring. Adam Holmes, ABC News.